Trill County Track. Welcome back to another video. So Gina Prandini went crazy yesterday running at 22.34. And her and TT, that was one of the best finishes I think I saw in a long time because TT had her. TT was giving the whole field the business in that 200. But Jenna Prandini came out of nowhere and just pretty much sucked her up and was able to not just barely beat her, but she was able to almost run away with the 200 just to come from all the way back to pass TT up and almost run away with that race. That's very impressive by Gina Prandini. And she's been doing okay this season. I mean, nothing spectacular. She's been like in the middle of the pack. But she came this to this race and just handled business. And a lot of people was wondering, like, what was wrong with Gabby Thomas? Like, she is not injured, and she had the performance that she had. So, I don't know. That's a different story, man. She needs to get back to work because that's the Olympic bronze medalist of um, a while back. And she's looking not too good this season. But um, back on Jenna, Jenna training with Bobby Kersey, Coach Kersey. So you know eventually everything is going to get together, those movements and actions and form and just the whole overall technique and the timing is going to get on point and she was going to pull off one of these strong races. And I became a Jenna Prandini fan when she was at Oregon, but especially when she handled her business on the relay team that won that gold medal at the World Championships. And Man, how she ran, I was just like, man, who is this Jenna Prandini? And, and she's coming strong handling business. But what she did yesterday just, in my opinion, definitely put her back on the map this outdoor season. And we're going to be anticipating and be waiting to watch more Jenna Prandini race. But y'all let me know what y'all think about this.